Yeah, hi there, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the online TOEFL course, the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and you are one of my online TOEFL students. And uh, you have a quick question, it looks like, about one of my independent writing practice tests, and this question actually came up today in another email. So you say, uh, today I'm writing you due to... I am uncertain now. That's not going to work here. I would say here not due to but because. You have to use because as a subordinating conjunction to introduce a subject and a verb there. So I'm writing you I'm writing you because I am certain of how to develop an answer to the following question. So the question is compare and let's separate this out for a minute. So you'd say, compare the advantages of living in university housing with the advantages of living in, in an apartment in the community. Where would you prefer to live? Give reasons for this preference. You say, owing to this question is totally different to the other latest. Uh, how can I develop an eloquent answer to this question? Do I, do I have either to talk about the advantages of both or select just one and give my reasons by which one is better than the other one? Good question. Now, this is important because one of the big, one of the important parts of the TOEFL is you need to be able to under, understand what, <coughs> excuse me, what the speaking and writing task is and how do you, how do you organize your response. In this case, you have a two-part question. Compare the advantages first and then explain where you would prefer to live. So... What I would do here is, in the beginning in paragraph one, you can create an introduction talking about universities and how students uh, have to choose where they live and how some of them want to live in university housing and others want to live in an apartment in the community. When you get to the end of that particular paragraph, the first paragraph, you can say each of these each of these or living in both of these areas has advantages. In the second paragraph, talk about the advantages of living in university housing without giving your own opinion. Talk about it objectively. When you get to paragraph three, talk about the advantages of living in an apartment in the community, again, objectively. And then when you get to the, <laughs> to the last paragraph or the conclusion, then you can talk about which one you prefer and why. So this is kind of a complicated question because it is asking you to adjust your tone. You have to change your tone from being objective to being more argumentative in different parts of the same writing task. So that requires a little bit more organization. You have to really understand what you're being asked to do there. All right, so that is my answer to your question. Now, by the way, after you complete this particular writing practice test, you will see a sample of a student who responded to this very same question.